Alpha? Not here. Heading to Alpha. Hey, this is north. This is east, south, east. Out. The bird's right above you. Want that camera facing this way, all right? Since we're facing north, we're facing north, we know that if we face this antenna this way, this antenna's facing north. Does that make sense? So he's just north of us. We face this antenna north. He's not going to lose link. I promise you that. All right? He's not going to lose link. What he's going to do is his regular flight pad. Is once he gets to Alpha, he's going to fly to Bravo. You want to make sure he maintains his cruise speed, right? Viewers of Mara, All right. Okay. Um. See, look, he's about to come to the, uh, he's still a little to the right of us, so you want to move this antenna just like that. Uh -huh. All right? And just see where he's at, and then just every every five seconds, find out an updated location and make sure. Okay, see, I see you got a vehicle in your in your picture, right? Roger. Hit enter two times. All right, that should put you in loiter mode. Point three, that means you're 300 meters away from us, right? Uh -huh. What's your bearing? In this case, let's just say the only thing suspicious is any type of moving vehicle, all right? Um, so if you see any type of moving vehicle, you're on the lookout for it. I want you to go into loiter mode. Let your MO know that you're going into loiter mode, right? And I want you to keep that target in your center field of view at all times. Your bird will follow whatever it is you're looking at. Does that make sense? So what, what flight mode do you use? for target acquisition. Okay. Loiter mode. What flight do you use for... Um, the camera's facing south right now. Okay. What flight mode do you use for... just uh, surveillance and recon of a sector? Uh, the old mode. Yeah, old. No. Oh, no. It's, uh, surveillance. You're going to surveil... I give you... I give you Roz Hendricks. I need you to make sure that Roz Hendricks has eyes on at all times, right? I'm gonna give you. You're actually doing it backwards, but whatever. Hot key, hot key. Throttle up, throttle up now. Throttle up, throttle up. Now you're back in man mode. Keep eyes on your bird. Right, to the right, to the right, other right. All right, well, there you go. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Get back in. And I'm recording. We'll go ahead and go with uh, rank, first name, last name, and then your job title. Okay, my name is Sergeant Harold Weidman. I'm a Raven Master Trainer. All right, and uh, what's going on out here today? Okay, we have some uh, Raven training conducting. We're uh, certifying soldiers to be qualified operators of the Raven aircraft. And what's the significance of having trained operators for the Raven? Uh, it gives us, gives us the uh, availability of being able to put eyes on targets without ever having to put soldiers in harm's way. All right, first things first. Your rank, first name, last name, and your job title. Okay, uh, Specialist Jonathan Hensley, uh, 19 Delta Scout. Okay, and what's going on out here today? Uh, we're doing Raven training. Uh, we're all getting qualified to learn to fly the Ravens. Okay, and uh, how do you feel about the training? I think it's uh, going good. Learning a lot out here. Uh, anything specific about the training that you find pretty cool? Uh, I like the fact that like we'll be able to go out there and use it instead of having to put our guys out to do dismount patrols. It would be a lot easier on everybody. Uh, other than that, how do you think it's going to affect your unit's mission? I think it will make it a whole lot easier on everybody. Uh, give everybody more time to get ready for other things instead of always having to worry about like getting rucksacks and everything ready to go on a dismount patrol. Gives everybody more time to work on vehicles and uh, just take care of themselves and get rested more. Anything else you want to add? I can tell. All right, man.